was going out there, he was telling me, let's go fast. So it's something I mean, we worked on in spring is a big thing. So when we traded in practice that last week. So I've gotten to work with all those guys. And we treat them. I mean, those are game time situations pretty much. We went against the defense in that big spring game. So it's something we've been in that environment before. Joe, you guys were kind of down on the offensive line today. I think you and Joseph were the only two guys that were left from the start area. I mean, can you talk about the offensive line play today? I mean, guys came in and stepped up when we needed them. Uh, even Boom was Boom was uh, um, a little banged up too. So I mean, it's some they came in. Those guys stepped up. And something you got to do when someone goes down, next guy's got to be able to come in. But yeah, it was crazy. I mean, Boom didn't. Even, I was really the only returning starter from like considering last year. But luckily to have Boom out there and he, and he played well. And all those other guys stepped up. You're probably asked this already, but what was the emotion of the offense when you guys knew uh, Trevon wasn't coming back in? <clears throat> uh, I mean, you know, Trey's. His best player in college football. So, I mean, that's something that's definitely going to be part of your offense. But, uh, <clears throat> I mean, we got to go out there and block forever it is. It doesn't matter if it's Trey, Foster, Brown, whoever is offensive line. We got to be able to protect the ball, protect the quarterback, and be able to run the ball. So, it didn't really affect that. But, I mean, we knew we had to go out there and score points. Does it affect you at all schematically when Trey's not back there? Uh, no, sir. Uh, I mean, I go out there and I would make my IDs. Uh, my IDs don't have anything to do with Trey. Really? So, uh, I mean, we're still on the same point. I mean, there's times when I walk up to the line, like that big run, I just turn around and told Foster to check out of it. And so we checked out and we got to check the new run. We got a big play off of it. So, I mean, it's something we're still on, on the same page and be able to communicate with each other. Did you notice a different spark when Foster came in? Not to talk bad about Bram or anything, cause, but both the quarterbacks stepped up today. But did you notice a different spark when Foster came in? I mean, both of them came in and played well. Uh, Foster came in. I mean, I feel like the crowd really got into it when Foster's the helmet thing happened and they started getting all into it. So I feel like that was the biggest, this fan thing, the fans won anything or they made the biggest part. But I feel like both those guys came in and we were able to move the ball with either quarterback. What was this past week like for y'all after the loss? Was it hard to get focus and enthusiasm? No, sir. I mean, we're a big team on week by week and this is the next game, so it was the biggest game. So, I mean, I feel like, I mean, we definitely came out and prepared and we prep just as like we would for anybody else, and what's done is done. When it came to last week, and just like now, was after this week. I mean, we were ready. We need to start getting ready for OU. The way y'all came back and played last year after losing to Baylor, did that give y'all something to go by? Y'all knew that y'all could. Mm -hmm. get Definitely. It back I mean, I mean you know, season not done with. We got two big games left. I mean, after the day, we have three big games. We have three big games left, so we got two more left, and something we got to go there and take care of business.